Bryce Bins here on the scene on an I-25 pileup in Colorado Springs. Oh, folks, this car crash was an 18-car pileup. The victims are alive as far as we know. Not sure how much longer they will live. The people responding are firefighters, policemen, and also the paramedics. The location of this pileup was right before exit 184. Traffic is moving really slow. Uh, we are not sure how much longer it'll take to clean up the roads, but it might be a while. The cause of this accident was icy roads, and the roads are not closed as of right now, but that could change. Traffic is moving super slowly, so I suggest you take the back roads. This is it for your traffic report. Over to you, Aiden Dennison. Hello everyone, we are back with the forecast with your favorite German weatherman. Uh, today we are going to be giving a, a brief weather cast, uh, forecast um, of the Texas thing, the new snow in Texas, you know, the things that says, uh, the, the stuff that's falling out of the sky right now. Um, and we will also be giving an interview with a Texas man who experienced this snow for uh, first hand experience. Um, we will also talk about the hurricane that recently happened there and its correlation with the snow. Uh, no snow in Colorado, so um, there might be something wrong with the weather system right now. There might be something wrong with the weather system, but um, as you can see now, it is uh, snowing in Texas. Um, the snow is getting a little out outrageous right now. Um, it's uh, the people sleeping everywhere, and then you wonder why God does not give Texans snow. Um, so my opinion about the snow is that uh, it's very important, uh, it's a little bit extra, um, what is the word, um, just a little bit more liquid for the year, I think is how it goes, um, but I do think that the hurricane is uh, affecting the snow, and that might be why it is snowing in the first place, because uh, Texas got hit by the hurricane and the atmosphere said, um, what the heck and started snowing it doesn't know what to do the snow is supposed to be here in colorado um but it's obviously that's not happening uh there's no snow in colorado uh as you can see the pile up um from the vehicles happened in colorado um but that is about all the snow we have gotten this year um schools in texas are open they are not used to the snow but they are still open the courthouse is open so is loaf and jug so you can still go get the free um monster you buy one get one free yeah it's a good one um and the police are keeping their eyes open right now keeping the eyes open for the car crashes and uh, any other crimes that might be happening so um what we are going to do is uh we are going to interview someone uh about the snow and what they think so you can get a first-hand view on what um what the texans think about the snow is happening so i have my uh i went out to the street and I asked any willing person if they would like to be interviewed about the snow. So now we are out here in the snow. It's snowing. It's very nice. Um, but um, this is a man from Texas. What is your name, sir? Well, my name is Happy. I live in uh, Austin, Texas. We recently just got a lot of snow. About an inch, and it's a little, it's a little nipply out here. So, yeah, yeah that's, you, that's what I've been hearing from a lot of people. Yeah, it's it's really cold. I mean, you guys don't want to. You need to get you need to get a sweatshirt on, and you might get har harpothermia. If, if you don't, if you don't get, you, you might get harpothermia. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time because it's so cold. It's okay. I understand no, the, no. The, the little accent, the English barrier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have the I, same problem. Yeah, I'm sorry, but why? I got a question for you, sir. Yeah, I, I got, I got a question for you. Why? Why aren't you so cold? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. You see, I am from Germany. Um, that is like Canada of Europe. Okay? okay, so I get to the snow all the time. So right now I'm fine. I could go swimming right now. Swim, swimming? Yes. Swim. Yes. Well, technically, if you went swimming in Texas right now, uh, the snow would technically make the water frozen, so you can't go swimming. But the inch of snow that we, <laughs> inch of snow that we got, <laughs> the inch of snow that we, sorry, I'm having a hard time. It's so cold. I'm actually, get it's really really cold. Awesome. We're having a hard time because I want to go swimming because for the family vacation this weekend we want to go swimming, but the snow froze all over the swimming poles and we couldn't go and so we, might, we tried to go ice skating 
But little son Timmy got stuck under the ice and got hurt real bad. So. Did um what was the extent of this damage? Did he uh get like hypothermia? Did he die or No, he did die. He's in he's in a he's in the hospital. Yeah, right please now. please don't take the microphone from me. Oh sorry. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> um um Sorry, so my son, my son Timmy, can you stop, sir? Let's stop, let's stop. It's really, that microphone's really, really cold. So, you might, we need to, uh, my son Timmy, he's in the hospital right now. Um, he just got hypothermia, and he's just really sick right now, and he just, mm-hmm. he's even recover. so. Yeah, I'm actually, okay. I was actually on my way to go see him, but I've never been on live TV before, so hey, Ma. Uh, so, there you go, thanks. Well, as you can see, folks, um, that is uh, a first-hand view from a Texan's point of view of the snow. As you can see, they're very cold. Uh, I'm completely fine right now, and I think that is why they sent me here. But um, hopefully, you get a little better perspective on what is actually happening here in Texas. Um, you know, maybe next time it snows, they will actually do something with their lives and uh, go snowboarding or something like that. Sir, we didn't have a problem. Okay, um, we are going to send it right back to you, Creed. Hello everyone, Creed Raw here in sports. Today we're going to be talking about how many times people can mess up this week. I mean, left and right mistakes by these hilarious athletes. Then we're going to be talking about some state stats of players. I thought we would go for a good old highlight of Lonzo Ball in his NBA for the first time. Creed Raw here with sports. Today, first of all, we're going to be talking about football. Uh, recently, uh, Ryan Sejir suffered a really back, really bad back injury, and we're really worried about him, so can everybody just have pray, prayers go out to him? Um, after that, um, we're, going to just, we're going to talk about some funny plays, and you're hearing a little bit. We'll do a, we'll do a good old video. Um, how, how are some teams performing in the NFL? Um, you know, our hometown here in Colorado, uh, Denver, they're not doing too tight. I mean, they're they're having a hard time during their season, and we can't figure out a good, we just can't figure out a good quarterback, and we're just having a hard time. Uh, what is the future looking like at the Broncos? Uh, I'm not too sure how they're going to do next year, because we may have to do some pretty good draft picks to get... I heard they got a new head coach. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dennison, I'm trying to make I'm trying to make an interview here. Well, they got a new head coach. It's some Asian guy. Okay, no, they didn't. No, no. Hey, hey, sir, his sir, name hey, is, quiet his, up, quiet up, his name quiet is, it up. Win some soon. Okay, yeah, I'm hoping we could win some soon. What, like, Mr. My, like my friend here said in the background, you can't see him. You can't see him here. Oh, sorry about that. We got some with Ebola. Oh. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? Okay. All righty here. So, can I, I'm gonna keep going on here. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna criticize some players like um, <clears throat> Jay Cutler. He's like the biggest crybaby I think I've ever seen in sports history. Uh, he's uh, he's a pretty big crybaby. He loses the game and he throws a fit in the locker room and room and go on YouTube and search that. It's pretty bad. Um, well, then we're gonna do some uh. We're gonna look at some big hits and see how that's going. I mean, like some amazing hits. Maybe if you ever play football, you know that feeling. So, um, so I've got a guest speaker here. We're gonna be talking about Lonzo Ball here. Well, this is my friend. Uh, this is my friend Billy Ball. And uh, how do you think Lonzo's doing this year? Oh, Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. Yeah. Oh man, Lonzo Ball. Boy, oh boy, can I tell you? So many things wrong with that shot. It's not a pretty shot, but all that matters is when the ball sinks through the net. When the ball sinks through the net, you get two points or three points. Possibly one point on a free throw. Also, it's all in his head. He's a good ball player. But the biggest problem is he thinks to himself, I can't do it, I'm gonna mess up so badly that my future is over. Okay, okay. So, this year, he's struggling pretty bad, you see. I mean, he's doing okay for his first year, but do you think he'll be okay next year? Well, how do you think he'll be? Oh, next year. Definitely a great ball player. He's gonna be better than Eli Manning. 
Wait, I, wait, wait, wait a minute. Eli Manning played football, sir. Oh, uh, I meant Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, sorry, you're wrong again. Michael Jordan. There you go. He's gotta be the best basketball player there is. I saw him play the other night, and he got an alley oop, and he slammed <laughs> it through the net, two points. Like that. Okay, um, do you think uh, Lonzo's gonna stay with the Lakers this year? Is he gonna be compared anyway? Two questions here. First, well, do you think he'll stay with the Lakers this next year? I think he is going to, only because no one wants him at this moment, because he's not the best right now. But he's gonna be the best, I swear. I know. Oh, okay, so do you think he'll be anything compared to MJ, Kobe, King James? He could 1v1 them right now. Rap for your daily news, I'm Creed Rawl. I'm Brass Bands. And I'm Aiden Dennison. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Disney, Disney Channel. Channel.